The pandemic is still hurting businesses, but there is still help available four months into this crisis. This morning, we welcome Blake Thomas, the director of Salt Lake County's Office of Regional Development, to talk about some of that help. Blake, thanks so much for being this morning, being here this morning. Thank you for having me. So information has been really key in this response. We've seen so many numbers in recent weeks. It looks like your office has developed kind of an informational porter portal to provide some clarity. Can you tell us about what that is? Yeah, the Salt Lake County Office of Regional Development uh, in partnership with the Office of Data and Innovation, work closely with the Utah State Tax Commission to obtain data more frequently that helps counties uh, and city financial planners understand the economic impact of COVID-19. So we had listening sessions, we got feedback from cities like Salt Lake City and specifically their economic development department uh, that was really key in developing this new tool and making it useful. Um, there are among 14 unique tabs with various data sets that the economic impact information portal provides, uh, one of which is a taxable uh, sales dashboard to help us understand real time uh, impacts of this virus. I'm also happy to report that uh, the state of Utah received more than $5 billion in paycheck protection program loans. Hmm. That public data was a little bit messy and we were able to clean that up and put it into our dashboard and so we now have uh, a dashboard where you can look by industry and by city and understand those paycheck protection program loans it's all available at slco.org slash slco muni data that okay. is slco.org slco m-u-n-i d-a-t-a Perfect. So Blake, you said this, this tool is obviously very useful for policymakers. How do you imagine this tool will be useful to the individual business owners? Yeah, so what we have right now is last month, Mayor Jenny Wilson announced a $40 million uh, small business loan. So that was a product of the March public health orders that forced small businesses to close. Think barbershops, gyms, and restaurants. And so that was really the center of the bullseye that we've tried to target this last month. And we've had more than 1,300 businesses screened uh, since that uh, program launched. And we have $2 million in grants requested in our queue currently right now. And we've also awarded over $2 million for 107 Salt Lake County businesses. That's incredible. So, Those are great numbers. So it's working. Yeah, yeah. We're really excited about that. And please know for uh, small businesses that haven't taken advantage of this grant yet, that next week on Tuesday, a second round will be announced with broader eligibility parameters. So, okay, more businesses will be eligible. Can we check back in with the small business impact grant? We've talked about this a little bit, and I understand there's a lot of money left here in that pot. Yeah, absolutely. So, starting on Tuesday with our second round, there is $35 million. Uh, left to put into our local economy and for small businesses to take advantage of. Okay. Uh, okay. If a small business can show a loss, they can receive up to $35,000 in grants. That's a great amount of help. Quickly, before we have to go, for business owners watching this morning, where can they go to apply for those funds and figure out which funding is, is most suited to their needs? They can go to slco.org slash COVID-19. That easy. is our home page where they can learn um, about the grant and there's a really detailed FAQ on the website. All right, Blake Thomas, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We will have all of those resources on our website as well, abc4.com slash GMU. Thanks, Blake, have a good morning. Thank you.